Welcome to the doctor's office. I know you just woke up and you're strapped to a bed, so this must be very confusing. But I can pinky swear, promise you, that way I cross my fingers, that's lying. I will pinky promise you that I'm a doctor and not some crazy person. So, it appears today that you are having vision problems. You just noticed this now. Well, of course you did before that you were sleeping. How can you notice your vision if you're asleep? So, don't worry. Shh, I know this must be a little scary and a little confusing, but I can promise you. See these hands? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fingers that are highly functioning and are gonna take care of you today. So, let's start. I'm going to be wearing gloves so I don't spread bacteria from either one of us. Of course, not saying that you're dirty, but you might have bacteria, which is a fairly normal thing for most humans. So this glove is inside out, but it'll perform the same, so it's fine. But if you think it looks funny, um, don't judge me. Okay. We are going to start off starting off with this mirror and this little hook. I'm not even going to be hooking anywhere near your eyeball, of course, but just sort of in the general area. Um, and maybe just lifting a little, or, or even just lifting the lashes, like so. So let me go ahead and take a look. Mm-hmm. And if I can, just have you focused on the screen behind me. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get you to come a little closer. Okay. Move your head slightly, just like that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yes, I'm definitely noticing the impairment with your vision, and it does appear that there is something right there in your eye. I can definitely see it. Mm-hmm. Nothing to fear, though. I'm going to be able to get this out for you. So let me know, does this make your vision worse or better? I'm just going to start scratching at the eye. Worse or better? Okay, let me scratch over here. Worse or better? Over there? Over there? Okay, I'm going to pick the two of best ones and I'm going to do an A or B, okay? A or B? A or B. Which one made it better? Okay. What about this one? The two worst? A. Which one's worse? A or B? Alrighty, A or B. Okay, good to know. got some tweezers here. I'm just going to begin plucking at the eyelids and trying to see if I can grab onto what's in your eye. 
place you're at, blink. Just focus on the screen behind me. So how's your day been? Must be a little confusing, I know you just woke up here, but... Good. I hope the bed's comfortable, and once I'm finished this exam, someone will come in with food. So that should cheer you up a little. What's your least favorite kind of food? Really? Because that is what's on the menu tonight. Sorry about that. Um, okay. I'm really not having any luck with the tweezers. Um, I gotta try and loosen this. Yeah. Put this behind me. Grab my bag. I want to try and loosen some of what's in your eye. I'm just grabbing these scissors. No need to worry about those until a little bit later. What else do I need? Maybe some oil could be helpful. Oh, a numbing spray, of course. And, okay. I'll also grab out this bad boy as well. After taking a look of your exam, I think. I might need a few more random odds and ends, but Let's start with those. Okay, I'm gonna begin. I have- I'm gonna begin with this, um... Don't mind that there's hair on it. This... What is this called? A spoolie. It's got one end, which I can do poking and prodding if need be. But what we're really looking at is... This, like, kind of scratchy, brushy material. I'm gonna be brushing your eyelashes. And just lightly, the eyelid. And I'm going to see if that can loosen up the debris from the eyes, okay? Okay. How does that feel? Are you noticing any black spots, any more vision? Perhaps any other impairments, including hearing, taste, smell, touch, anything like that. Very interesting. I'm taking notes in my brain of everything that you're saying. And I have to say that I really appreciate you being here and doing this for me. Take a look. Just a look in the examination. How many fingers am I holding up? How many now? How many now? Now? Okay, can you follow my finger? Very good. It definitely seems like this is impacting your vision quite a bit. These next bits of procedures might be a little painful, so I'm just going to spray in your eyes. That's just a numbing cream, or a numbing spray, so it should really help. Oh, is it burning? Sorry, I forgot to tell you, you have to close your eyes when I spray that. Sorry about that. But let me get a cloth. Does that help at all? Good. So some of the debris is definitely a little bit more um, loose, so I'm going to take my tweezers and just try and get off anything I can.
Okay. So, I wanted to ask you, what color is your left eye? Okay. What about your right eye? Okay. What day is it today? Good. I'm not noticing anything major in your memory. Uh, no memory loss, nothing like that, which is good. Um, it can be a bit of a problem. I have this little derma roller. It's got tiny spikes on it, but you have that numbing spray on, so it won't be a problem. I'm just going to go ahead and derma blade the area. Hopefully that loosened up some more debris. I'm going to take my tools here. Take an expression of the eye. Mm -hmm. Widen, close, widen, close. Okay, I'm going to ask you which point is closer or farther to you. Is point A, point B closer? Good. Is point A, point B closer? Good. Is point A or point B closer? Which one is closer? Good. Is point A or point B closer? Good. Okay, your visual testing is actually going pretty bad. You're failing basically all your tests, but that isn't too concerning to me currently. It might be in about five minutes, but we're not at that pace yet. All right, so I'm going to ask you again, which is closer? Is point A, point B closer? Good. Ooh. I'm still not concerned though. You're dry. You're dry. Your eyes are looking a little dry, so I have some oil here. This is by Nux. And it is a floral scent, which will irritate the eyes a little bit, but you have that numbing spray, so it shouldn't be too bad. Are you feeling any of these procedures? You are. Ugh. Sorry about that. Hopefully this won't burn too much. So how's it feeling? Terrible? Okay. Well, hopefully we won't be poking and prodding for much longer and that it won't be so bad for you. Now my hands are really moisturized, so that's nice. Okay. This is the part I was fearing a little bit, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So I'm gonna be taking my tweezers. A lot of the debris is really attached to your eye and even roughing it up isn't doing everything I want it to be. So I'm gonna be taking scissors and these tweezers and I'm gonna be pulling as far as I can and then cutting in hoping to detangle some of the mess that is on your eyes. Okay. So, we're gonna be going ahead and grabbing. Okay. I hope that this isn't too intrusive. Can you but just enjoy the sounds. Just enjoy the sounds. Yeah, just try and relax. I know it's hard to relax when your eyes are forced open, but such is life. But I promise everything's gonna be okay. I'm taking care of you the best I can and I'm noticing a significant improvement with the eyes. Once we're able to get this piece of debris out of the eyes fully, your vision will come back 110%. Alrighty. 
I'm noticing a huge improvement with the clusterness of the debris. So, where is, here is my bag. Okay. I got two things. I've got a brush and I've got a pen. We're going to be using the brush first. Alrighty. By that I meant the pen first. So what the pen is going to be doing, I'm just going to circle the areas that are looking irritated to compare them in the future. We can track your progress and see how well you're doing and all the things like that. So that's why this step is important. Okay. Just going across your eye and looking at all of the areas that could be using improvement, all the red areas and such like that. Alrighty, so now we'll be able to compare in the future how you're looking and all sorts of things like that. Now I've got the brush, this is just going to try and wipe any of the debris that we can out of the eye before we go into the final tweezing um, stage, just to remove it fully. It, it is looking super loosened though, and I think after this brushing, we'll be able to get it right out. Alrighty. clean up of all the tools that we no longer are in need of, which is most of them. So I just want to get your thoughts and your feelings on how the procedure went. Was there anything I could have done to improve your experience? Or um, were there any moments where the vision was particularly bad or perhaps particularly good? Just anything like that. It'll all just help me, um, improve doing these procedures in the future, and just with the research. The research as aspect, the research aspect of this isn't super important for you to know, just know that it's important to me. Okay. Let's finally get this thing out of your eye. This might take a little bit. I have my cloth here to wipe it off with while we just continue to Grab as much of the strays that I can from around. Mm -hmm. I think that we're almost ready to grab the real thing. Okay. Yeah, what I'm looking at the eye right now looks good. I think I should be able to get this out once and for all. Not quite. We got it. I know. It is literally microscopic, as you can see, but it is enough to cause such a strain on your life. Um, doesn't look like we have any scratching or damages or anything like that. Let's do a final eye exam. Take off my glove really quick. Okay. I'm going to be asking you some questions. Okay, I would like you to read out these letters. What does this say? That one? Good. This one. Let me trace it for you. It's a little bit hard to trace it with this tool. Let me try to study it. This one. Good.
good job. What is this? 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 What does it say? Good job. What about this one down here? A little trickier. And I'm just gonna give you the last letter on this bottom row. What does that one say? What is that one? Okay. I want you to tell me what is this? Right here. Just in this general area. Good. Okay. How many eyeballs? Where's the other one? <laughs> How many eyeballs does this? Whiskers. We're gonna look at each individual whisker. How many whiskers are on this cheek? Good. What about on this cheek? It's a little bit harder to see. Let me show you. Are you seeing it? You're not. I have this cup of pens. I'm going to quickly ask you the colors. The color of this one. Good. 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 Mm -hmm. Excellent. And this one. Perfect. Okay. Follow my finger. What shape is this? Good. This. Good. Good. When do my fingers leave your field of vision? What about now? Okay. Now. Alrighty. Pupils don't look dilated. Everything seems to be in working order. I'm actually really surprised. I really thought that this one was going to fail. It seems that the human body is far more resilient than I had hypothesized. Hypothetized. Hyp hypothesized. Hypothesized? Hypothesized. Is that the word? I think so. It seems the human body is far more resilient than I had theorized. But I hope the next one works, and uh, thank you for being a part of this trial. You will still be here for a few days before we can let you escape. But there are worse places to be, so relax, sit back. You don't have work in the morning, so that's one thing to be happy about. And I uh, hope you enjoy your stay. And next time we need someone to experiment on, we know just who to call. You.